In this video, you will learn to describe why the rapidly changing technology and tools of cybersecurity make critical thinking skills essential, describe the critical thinking model as the intersection of critical thinking characteristics, technical skills, interpersonal skills, theoretical and experimental knowledge, and intellectual skills. I like to start off with a thought experiment that kind of um, shines a spotlight on what I mean by critical thinking. So let's thought experiment. Pretend that you are an office manager in a high-rise building downtown, and um, you know you've got multiple tenants. You've got retail, apartments, um, uh, office space. You know, and you've been getting a lot of complaints that the elevators are slow. You're getting emails. You're getting phone calls. People are upset. The elevators are too slow and they're threatening to break their lease. And you don't want that. You don't want people to break their leases. So what do you do? How do you solve this problem? Now, there's a number of different approaches. You could you know, replace the lift. You could take a software approach and update the lift algorithm. You could tell them to take the stairs. You could install more elevators. You could do nothing. You know, there's a number of different approaches and solutions to this problem. And I want you to be thinking about this over the course of this discussion, over the course of this presentation, because we're going to come back to it. But think about how you would solve this problem and think about how you came to that conclusion. And then, again, we'll come back to that at the end of, the, at the end of this discussion. So with that, let's get into it. Now, when we think about skills, the sought after skills in cybersecurity, you know, we're you know, we immediately go to the technical skills. Now, these are, um, I did an informal survey of, you know, some big tech companies, what they were hiring for in cybersecurity. And I looked at IBM, I looked at Microsoft, Facebook, Google, you know, the big tech companies. And, you know, I saw a lot of what really jumped out at me were these technical um, job skills. So operating systems, intrusion detection, reverse engineering, you know, all very important. And with that comes a slew of supporting tools to help you know, support these activities. So, you know, whether that's Wireshark or Splunk or, you know, a number of different, you know, you know, database tools to help support these activities. Now you've got a conundrum where you've got hundreds and hundreds of tools that are, you know, updated regularly. Everybody's got a favorite. They have got different data formats. You know, they don't always play nice. It can, this can be messy to deal with. Um, it can also be... Um, impossible to keep up with. You know, it's impossible to become proficient in all these tools. And so this is what I mean when I say, you know, this common misconception is keeping up with these latest technical tools and trends is the key to success. But the reality is that they're always going to be changing. Um, the technology is constantly changing. Our adversary is always changing. Uh, but the good news is that the security and design fundamentals change slowly. You know, TCP, IP, um, operating systems, you know, kernel fundamentals, those change slowly. And so critical thinking, combining these critical thinking skills with, with an understanding of security fundamentals will allow us to identify solutions to unknown, undefined, complex problems, situations, regardless of technology, regardless of the tool that we have in front of us. So... I did some more, you know, thinking about critical thinking, and I was wondering, you know, what, what differentiates, you know, somebody, uh, a good critical thinker from a not so good critical thinker? You know, what are the characteristics that enable critical thinking? And I, I, I did some research. I really couldn't find anything that was specific to cybersecurity. Um, but where this has been studied a lot is in healthcare. So, you know, if you think about healthcare, you think about an emergency room. Um, you know, you've got doctors and nurses who are in a high-stress situation, you know. Um, they have to make sometimes life-saving decisions, you know, in just a matter of minutes, just based on incomplete data. And so, you know, the ability to think critically, um, to pull together a decision, you know, a, an intelligent decision in just that short amount of time is very important. And so critical thinking has been studied a lot in this field. And so this model on the slide was actually pulled from a healthcare textbook. I really like this model, and I think these same principles still apply to cybersecurity. And so um, I'll just briefly walk us through these, each of these 
you know, characteristics. So at the top, in that top circle, are your critical thinking characteristics, your attitudes and behaviors as a person. You know, this is it's you know, this is your personality, your outlook on the world, you know, how you approach problems. It's going to be you know, a product of your upbringing, your life experiences, your, you know, your job experiences. It's going to be different for each of us. Um, and that's good. That's, that's good because this is a field where we want that diversity. We want that diversity of perception. If there's one thing that I've seen in my career that I've seen in cybersecurity in particular is that the most successful people are often the most curious. You know, they're the most curious about the world. They want to, they've got a constant hunger to keep learning, to keep growing, to solve problems, to, you know, if they're on a threat hunt or they're doing some kind of investigative work, you know, they've got this intrinsic desire to get to the answer, to, you know, finish, find a solution. And so just that, that, that curiosity will take you far. Um, going clockwise, the next, characteristic is your theoretical and experiential knowledge. So now this is like the fundamental knowledge that you pick up, you know, maybe in school about how operating systems work, your experience, your knowledge that comes from, you know, on the job, you know, the pro different projects that you've been on, what you've learned from those projects, your intellectual skills, that's what that circle represents. Moving on, your interpersonal skills. How well do you interact with other people? To, you know, to what degree are you interacting with your coworkers, with your peers? Are you asking questions? You know, are you offering you know, your own input? Um, because cybersecurity is not a solo profession. I rely on my colleagues every single day. You know, whether we're sharing information or I've got questions or need help, you know, I'm relying on other researchers that are out, you know, within the company that are out external to IBM, you know, maybe that are in a different domain. So um, how, how well can you work together with others and share information? And then, then last is the technical skills and competencies. So these are, you know, your ability to use Wireshark, your ability to um, triage maybe Suricata alerts. This, these are the technical skills and competencies that were outlined on that, that skill slide. You know, intrusion detection, reverse engineering. That's what these skills are. And in this model, their overlap represents, you know, a person's critical thinking ability.